shot. It is a water buffer meant to help with water clarity, okay? You'll squeeze this cap on the little ridges as well, twist to open up. This one also has an inner cap. Fill up that inner lining. This is one cap, one time a week, okay? This is all you should need, okay? When you add it, same procedure as everything else, okay? You don't have to worry about waiting too long, about a two hour wait period before you're using it. If you don't feel like waiting, I tell everybody just to shock it overnight so you don't have to worry about waiting anything. We've already added it to this ball because we added the jump start packet, so we just added it with it, so combine those wait times. Now, weekly maintenance. Here shortly, usually when you first fill up a spa and it starts to turn, you get a tan line at the top of the water, okay? This is a sediment line, which will be usually from residual dust and dirt from home plumbing, water hose, inside of brand new spas, whatever have you. It's just getting pushed up and out to the sides. A Mr. Clean Magic Eraser is what we recommend you wipe the shell with. They're non-abrasive and they clean stupid crazy well. When you wipe it, just wipe the edge of the water line, just like a dish along the shell, and that line will disappear, okay? Once you begin using chemicals regularly, you will no longer see a tannish colored, colored line. It'll be hard to see on most brand new hot tubs because they have white shells, okay? But this line will be like a powdered donut white line forming across the top of the spa, okay? Sometimes it might have a little yellowish tint to it. This is a scum slash chemical line. It too needs to be wiped away using that Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. It will eat through the enamel and stain your <coughs> shell permanently on your spa. If you've ever seen an older spa with that powdered donut line at the top of it, that is the line I am talking about. So prevent it from forming and staining your shell permanently by simply wiping the water line once a week, okay? Also, once a week, your filters need to be taken out and sprayed with a water hose, okay? All you're gonna do is lift the lid, unscrew your filter, pull it all the way out, and spray it really good with your water hose. You wanna spray all of the pleats out. Start from the top, work your way down, and flush the entire filter out, okay? The filter will play a major, major factor and how clean and clear your water stays. You can have balanced water, but you will begin to experience murky, cloudy water if you are not consistently spraying your filters out. Most manufacturers recommend you do this a minimum of once a week. All my customers, I tell them to do this once a week. It is way better for your water and you won't have nearly as much trouble out of your filters. Okay, that way they can continuously do their job properly. Your filter should last you roughly one year, then you should replace them with brand new ones to help maintain and keep the lifespan up, okay? Every time you drain your spa, sometimes it's three months, and this spa case it's every four months because it's based on their cartridge system. But you'll take them out and you'll soak them or saturate them in a filter cleaning solution. There's a couple of ways to do this, okay? You can buy a solution or you can make a solution. If you want to buy a solution, it comes in about three different forms, okay? The first one will be like a tablet that dissolves in a big bucket like Alka-Seltzer. The other one is a parts per gallon liquid mix. And then you have a spray bottle version where you simply just saturate the filter really good. If you want to make the solution, on recipe is written on my customer's cheat sheet. It is 50-50 white vinegar and water, okay? Any method you use, you need to soak or saturate your filters for 30 minutes to an hour.